What is up, guys? My name is Michael Goffrin, um, and I am a software engineer. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience, um, specifically what kinds of programming languages you should be learning. So I think a lot of people get it wrapped up in their mind that they have to study some programming language. They have to study like Python, C++, JavaScript. They just get so wrapped up in all these languages and they try to do to study a little bit of each one and it ultimately doesn't work out that well because when you're trying to study a bunch of different languages you don't really become proficient in any and what matters more is your experience, uh, the projects that you've worked on, and what you've completed. So for example, for me, I remember when I started, I was just trying to learn a lot of different languages. I was like doing a little bit of work in Python, doing a little bit of work in C++, and it was kind of on these projects that weren't that important. They were more just, let me just, I don't know, like solve some problem, like find some programming problem online and solve it. And while that gave me some exposure to different languages and how they're used, really what I got more experienced was through doing projects in different languages. So for example, when I started to build web applications, when I started building front end and back end parts of a web application, I got way more proficient in understanding um, how these systems are built and more proficient in using JavaScript, which was the language I used on both the front end and the back end. Um, same, when I was first starting off programming, I was super interested in mobile apps. Mobile apps were the hot thing, like five, six years ago, um, and back then, um, I just w wanted to be part of that really hot trend then, so I started to develop an app in, um, in Objective-C, and... Like, I wouldn't just use the language. I actually had, like, a vision for what I wanted to accomplish, which was creating some panorama image stitching application. So I think that's what a lot of people get hung up on is they kind of learn random languages by learning about what it's used for in blog posts. I would say stick with doing a project and then find the language that best suits you for that project. Um... And don't really focus on just learning a whole bunch of different languages because that doesn't really help you in the end. The most important thing is to focus on one project, pursue it as much as you can, and then from there you can you just have way more opportunity to learn things when you work on a project and working on little problems. In terms of like what programming languages you should work in, it really depends on the project you're going to be doing. Like if you want to be doing web applications. I think JavaScript is always a solid choice because you're doing front-end and back-end components in JavaScript. If you're talking about mobile apps, you know, you can still do some things in JavaScript, but maybe it might make more sense to do something native. So if you want to build some Android apps, learn Java or Kotlin. If you want to do some iOS apps, learn Swift or Objective-C. Um, if you're super interested in machine learning um, and like data analysis, I would recommend doing more work in Python, which right now is the hot language for machine learning applications. So really, when you're picking a language, you should pick the project that you're going for and find out sort of what language you should do from that project. And, you know, don't get too hung up about the language. Cool. This is another episode with Michael. Thank you, guys.